Hi crafty friends and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be creating an autumn themed card featuring an all new die as well as cardstock warehouse cardstock. So this is the whimsical flower vine die set and I will be creating sunflower-esque flowers. Um, the right side of this die, those are the flowers that I will be using but there are two options with this die set. I also have some cardstock warehouse colors. There is Chartreuse, Canary, Rust, Craft, and Mars. I will not be using Mars, but I will be die cutting the vines out at least four times in Chartreuse. The flower petals will be die cut out at least four times in the Canary. Rust is used for the background and the Craft will be for the flower centers and I die cut that out at least twice as well. With all of my components die cut out, I grab my sticky mat and lay out first those vines. I ended up cutting out six, if I'm not mistaken, but I only laid out five here. And I'm going in with some Mountain Pine ink. This is fresh dye ink from Altenu. And I am focusing that along the center of each vine and the innermost portion of all of the leaves just to provide some color variation. I will not use all of these on the main portion of the panel but it is good to have extra just in case you like one more than the other once i'm satisfied with those i lay out all of my flower petals and the centers i'm using lemonade stand to ink up mainly the centers of each of those flower petals and then i'm using dark chocolate for the uh, sunflower centers I'm not aiming for perfection on these petals because I will be layering these up onto one another. So each petal will actually be two yellow petals stacked on top of each other. I will also mention with this die set, it does have the keyholes that allow you to easily align the petals with the stem. So each little stem or each little circle on the vine has a shape keyhole that is die cut out of that and it matches up with a keyhole shape that is die cut out of the center of each of those sunflowers so when it's time to um, arrange these and adhere them you have a guide for how they should as i stated before i decided to go with the rust for the background on my card and this is me just playing around with placement ensuring that i like how these vines will be looking originally i was not only going to double layer the flowers but i was also going to double layer the vines and i ended up not doing that but i still use all of the vines later so here I am just using my Canyon Clay ink and I am inking up around the edges of that rust cardstock just to add more variation. Of course, I will be placing the die cuts on top, but it just adds a little bit more interest to this card panel. I do at the end end up cutting this down to three and three fourths by five so if you would like to go ahead and cut your panel down to that size to begin with it may make things a little easier you'll see me struggle a bit in the end but i love the outcome of this card so based off my initial placement i went ahead and added some precision glue to the back of those vines and placed them down now i am just adding some glue to the keyholes and I am trying to align those. I wasn't thinking about actually aligning the keyholes. So you will see my head poke in and out of frame. Because I'm just trying to make sure I'm aligning the right petals with the right little keyholes. <laughs> Once I have my first layer of petals down, I grab some foam squares. And I start adding those to the centers of these petals because again i am stacking these on top of one another to create more dimension and i have to look at the top vine to make sure i'm putting the right petals in the right place so again you just play with the placement and add your foam dots to create that dimension a tip for this part of the process would be to ensure that when you're placing your foam dots they are centered 
in these flower petals so you don't have any of the foam poking out between the petals. So if I did, I would have white showing through uh, between the petals. All right, now that that is complete, I am going in with my wet glue, the precision glue, and adding those centers on. Again, I did not need as many as I die cut. You just need to die cut out two sets of the circles. And because I had so many, I ended up adding some that were already shaded and some that were not. So I'm just going in with a small little detail brush and adding more color variation to those centers, which I actually end up covering up. So it doesn't matter. But the point here is that you can die cut these out and shade them in the beginning like I did or just shade them once you have them in place on your card. I decided that I needed a little more dimension so I grabbed these Woodland Escape enamel dots from Altenew in um, a darker tone. It's more of a brown tone here. And I ended up deciding to just add them onto the centers. There were some that were the perfect size to... Uh, match up to the center they aren't covering the entire brown circle but they cover most of it so that's why I said I really didn't have to add the additional shading if I knew ahead of time that I was going to just use these enamel dots once all of my dots are in place this is what my panel is looking like now I'm moving on to my sentiment and I'm using the uplifting sentiments from Altenew this is a stamp and uh, dice bundle that you can get and I am going to grab the you're the best sentiment I felt like it fit the space the best so I am going to stamp that onto rust cardstock and then using some black ink I think this is the Altenew new permanent black little ink cube and I just stamp that on and die cut the sentiment out all right, so now we are at the point of this video where things got a little hectic. As you can see, I bumped my camera and things are diagonal now. And that is because I decided to cut down the card panel. Again, it's easier to just cut this to the size that you want uh, before you add all of these things on, especially those hard enamel dots but I do cut this down to three and three quarters by five. And once I have my panel cut down, I do add on my sentiment using some foam tape. These are just foam strips from scrapbook.com and I'm just going to pop my sentiment up and I love the tone on tone look and I thought this sentiment was the perfect size to fill that kind of gap. So now the vines look a little seamless. I still have to fiddle with the petals on the flower that was cut very close to that enamel dot. And when I was deciding which cardstock I wanted to use for the back, I decided to go with the craft cardstock. I also had an aha moment here because I had these additional vines sitting on my desk and I didn't want so many to just go to waste or sit in my stash until I made another card. So I decided that I would add these to my actual A2 size panel of that craft cardstock and I will have these vines kind of peeking out behind my panel. So it's going to look a little something like this. So I go in with my scissors and I just cut the leaves down to fit and fill in the space around the edges of this cardstock. This was a process of me placing my smaller card panel in place and making sure that I filled all the spaces and then going back and cutting more of the vines. So this is definitely an optional step, but if you are like me and don't like wasting the die cuts that you've inked or die cut out, period, this is a great option to add more interest to your card. Once that was complete, I snipped away any overhang and made sure that everything was in place in the way that I liked it. I did debate if I wanted to add any of the smaller enamel dots around it, but I thought the leaves on the exterior were the perfect addition. And I could not find my white gel pen, so I just used my whiteout pen to go in and add some highlights to these flowers. So that is an alternative if you don't have a paint pen or a white 
gel pen on hand. Here is the completed card. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please head back over to the Cardstock Warehouse blog and make sure that you comment. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day.